Hello everyone and welcome to my video about how I draw for reference and how I use these as studies. Um, I initially wanted this to be a tutorial on how I do sketches but I realised that my video would end up being over half an hour long just to explain one of these studies and I think it might be better just to be um, focused more on the reference side of things and, and leave the ex explanations for a separate video. Um, so I guess the main thing is why are art studies so important and there's a few like there's lots of reasons why it's it's important to study from photos and from references but um, for me the main ones are first to practice your anatomy um, you can draw hundreds and thousands of pictures and you'll always be improving on anatomy because it's just one of the hardest things to draw and get right um, so yeah that, that's one of the main reasons that I have to do these studies because even now I still struggle with, with things that I'll, I'll do a picture and I'll be looking at it and I know there's something wrong with it and I just can't put I just can't put the finger on it, like what is wrong with my picture? Um, so in cases like those actually, I will take a photo of myself just so of that pose and try and do that pose myself, take a photo, have a look at it and then I'll be able to spot, oh okay, well that's where the issue is and then I can fix it. Um, so yeah, anatomy is definitely one of the, the biggest reasons that you should be doing these kind of pose studies. Um, another reason why I do these is to practice um, colouring, like colours and values. Um, so for this one here, I've, I've got the sketch down and now I'm putting down the, the base colours. Now I don't colour pick from, from pictures because that's kind of pointless. You just need to pick the colour that you think, like what you see basically, um, I mean it's easy to change that afterwards but you know you, you, you need to train your eye and if you're colour picking you're not, you're not training your eye because you're just taking something that's already there so you're not learning from it. Um, another reason to do these studies is just to practice your drawing technique. Um, it can be digital or traditional, it's the same. So every time I do a, a study, I could be trying out a new technique, or maybe I'll try different brushes just to see how they feel, um, how they make the painting look different. Um, and the same when I'm just doing traditional and using pencil. I might try shading a different way. Um, so, um, that's a really good reason to do these studies and, and the best part about it is and especially with traditional work is you don't have to worry about these pictures being an actual finished piece of art don't be scared to just throw them away if they're not working that's the whole point of these studies is you, you're not getting bogged down with the details you're just trying to look at what it is and replicate it and look if it doesn't work out that's fine you just just get rid of it and start again. It's not like you've put hours of work into it and you're trying to salvage something that you're already attached to. Um, so yeah, that's just don't be scared to be able to throw your art away, don't get attached to it. Um, so about references, um, don't be scared to use references. I, I When I first started drawing, I was kind of scared to use references because I thought like a lot of people think this, um, that it was cheating and it's not cheating because it's very difficult to imagine what something looks like without looking at it. Um, until you've built up a really solid visual library, you're probably remembering these details wrong. So like I said before, if I cannot get the pose that I'm looking for from a reference, from a photo, because I need help, I'll take that photo of myself and then use that. Um, uh, what else? 
Um, I guess where can you find the best places to find really good poses, really good pictures that you would find interesting to draw? So my favorite place, obviously, as you've seen in the video, is Pinterest. It has so many different types of photos and what did I, I think I, I was searching for W Magazine because their covers are really unusual and yeah I just wanted to draw something different for this um, but yeah just um, it's got a really good collection of really interesting photos and especially for fashion photos and clothes and like say you want to practice folds and clothing Pinterest is a pretty good place to, to find this kind of stuff collectively um, if you're just looking for just poses just you know just to get a pose down and then you put your own work on top of that like the clothes and stuff you're not worried about that you just want the pose um, I would say deviant art is probably the best because there's so many um, stock photos there and um, there's quite a few really good ones that I follow actually and I'll, I'll put a link down in the bottom for that um, also I guess Instagram is actually pretty good um, but I follow quite a few photographers on Instagram because they just have some phenomenal pictures and I like to draw them <laughs> quite a lot and um, one of them I think the Sartorialist um, I'll put a link down there as well but some really fantastic photos that are good to study from um, yeah so <laughs> I spent quite a bit of time on this one actually I think I spent about half an hour maybe more I mean I I did my base sketch which was pretty quick I mean it probably about five minutes um, I did that on one layer and then on a new layer I just put down those base colors and on top of those base colors then I added things like you know the shadows um, a little bit more detailing and then when I was happy enough with how the colors looked I merged the two layers and normally I would just leave it at, at that you know I would just leave that as my sketch that's my study done but you know if you want to just continue on with it just push it a bit more then that's what I did in this case I just kind of smoothed out the colors uh, I was color picking to get those colors there and um, yeah, and then and then I called it done after a while. I didn't want to finish the whole thing, but um, yeah, I'm just letting this one go through quickly because I didn't want the video to be too long. But this was a really interesting picture actually, and I saw that I was so I was just yeah, I want to draw that. So um, it's actually a pretty tough pose to be honest because of the hands. Um, when I'm looking at it now, I can already see some of the mistakes that I've made and how I would go about changing it and making it better and that's the good thing about being able to look back at your your studies when you when you see them and you and you think okay like that's a little that's a little bit off like that's not right and with each new study you do you become more aware of these mistakes that you make and you're able to see them a lot clearer than you would if you didn't do these studies because you're you're building up your visual library like I said and you become used to how um, proportions and such should look um, so with this one here um, another rough sketch I mean I, I don't really have a guideline for my sketches I just I just draw what I see I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous and not helpful whatsoever but when you've been doing things like portraits for a few years like I have you do get quite used to um, just drawing it and not having to put down you know well here's the head here's the neck here's the body doing all these circles and cylinders and such you just you just draw it but that comes down to practice and that's the whole point the whole point is to just keep practicing and that is the point of doing studies you're, you're practicing so that you can get better so that you don't have to rely on them so much and you'll be more confident in your abilities to just draw um, yep so I think that's near the end it's really hard to draw bubblegum by the way <laughs> um, but yeah um, 
let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything in particular and hopefully I'll be able to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.